I've wanted to do this video for a while. And like, I don't know why I haven't done it. It's just a video where I talk about ray tracing. But I talk about ray tracing in terms of when it's going to actually become viable because uh, while we want to talk about it, well, it's viable now. Let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade, Paul. Let's tell the truth. It's viable right now. So you can, you can do ray tracing right now. But when it will actually become the norm. And I've said that in a few other videos. But this one will be all about that. So, yeah. Let's get into it. But first, this video is sponsored by... Introducing a revolution in gaming. Footmouse, the first science-based gaming mouse made for feet. I've been using Footmouse since 2017. But not on land. There's a lot of controversy as to whether or not Footmouse should be termed illegal. It's just such a huge advantage, but it's still all about skill. Footmouse just raises the skill gap. It's a whole different level of play. Footmouse, get your foot in the game. So we got you. It's actually sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a dark RPG. It's really, really cool. It's free to play. It's available on PC and other devices like Android. It's like really, really cool. Like you basically a campaign where there's like a story and that's really cool. Then you've got loads of other challenge maps and stuff that you can do and like kind of end, end game content. You're leveling up your character as you fight waves and waves of enemies. What I found really interesting about it is like you will get stuck. And when you get stuck, go away and kind of look at pieces of armor that you need to upgrade or something and you'll upgrade them and you'll get massive power boost and once you get that massive power boost you'll find a piece of armor that you didn't realize you had because you get rewards every time you clear it and once you do that you'll find a massive you'll get massive power boost and you can go on and clear that next round so it's kind of you also have to be thinking all the time as i really liked about it as well plus there's daily rewards so the more you play the more rewards you get also there's a free barbarian legendary legendary champion which is really cool you use the link in the description below you get a hundred thousand silver 50 gems and one free energy refill there's also a badass champion called the adjudicator which you'll get with the link in the description below make sure you pick up your rewards within 30 days and now we can talk about the ray tracing the ray tracing and what i've noticed first of all nvidia launched a graphics card in 2018 18, called the rtx 2080 2080 ti and the 2070 right and they brought these cards out to us and we were all supposed to well done for having the bravery to do this, NVIDIA. Well done for having the bravery to charge us about double what you used to charge us for a graphics card. Which is pretty much what they did. Like, they, they came out and just went, yeah, everything's expensive now. Right? Which was kind of shitty, let's be honest. It was kind of... The only card they didn't charge you double for was, like, 2060, which, like still charge you a lot more for so they charge you fifty dollars less than they used to charge you for a 70 class card for a 60 class card yeah it's kind of funny so and and their justification for that was that these things do ray tracing these things have rtx so they do amazing shadows and lighting and and and, and reflections and oh how they were wrong jensen walked around on stage and he said it just works it just works it just works and then we waited a year or so and it didn't work it never worked it, just, it still doesn't work to this day arguably right and i'll explain why i think it doesn't work right i got some benchmarks from some different people here right this is launch of 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 you know this game battlefield 5 we've seen it we've all seen it before you know you're looking at a 1200 hundred dollar graphics card playing 1080p at 49 frames per second that sir that is a fucking joke it's an absolute, complete and utter joke. It is not ray tracing. That is not, that's not, it, it's a fucking demo. Sorry, but that's what it is. And all they're doing in this is reflections. Look at it, look at the 2080, 41 frames per second. That's a 700, sorry, at, at launch it was an $800 graphics card. 41 frames per second. And then you look at a 2070, which was a $600 fucking 106 die. Oh my god, NVIDIA, you have lost your goddamn mind. 32 frames per second for a 600 quid graphics card. Remember, we used to get pay 600 quid for a graphics card and get fucking a 1080p, you're talking about hundreds of frames per second, right? But here we are, sitting around, ultra settings, 32 frames per second, DXR off. That's more like it really there, isn't it? That's more like 1080p, 100 frames per second, as I said down to 30. It literally cut the frame rate by a third. 
Look at it, 40. This is normally what you would want to play this game. 14 for 21 frames per second, right? But you know, the killer app. I just picked a random dude on YouTube, uh, Nelly, D Nelly the Gamer. Thank you very much. If, if you don't want your content used, hit me up. I'll, I'll remove it somehow. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but uh, just, 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 we'll, we'll have a look at his video. I won't, I won't play it because I, I want. But here he is running 4K ray tracing, no DLSS in control. This is supposedly the killer app for a 2080 Ti, and here we go, 29 frames per second. 29 frames per second using uh, a 9900K, by the way. Here you can see all the cores and threads. He's not lying about the CPU he has. You can see the base frequency is 4.7 gigahertz. You can see it all. It's fucking. It's it's what he has, right? And it's running with a 2080 Ti at 29 frames per second. Control, the killer app for ray tracing, apparently, is all we were told. This is the killer app for ray tracing. And it fucking looks good, don't get me wrong. It looks really good. There are some artifacts and problems with the ray tracing in it. This is the first time I've ever noticed. When you turn ray tracing on, when you turn ray tracing off, I can tell the difference. First time ever, right? This game was launched, like, late last year. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's what, August 20, 2019. I would imagine that's when it was launched. Like, it's... Look at it there. Look at it there. It's the 18th of 4, 2020. Like, ridiculous. And here's the new killer app, right? This is, you know, we've all seen this. This is Digital Foundry playing, uh, you know, ray tracing on, you know, in they're just walking through and, alley, and, and like, showing you the reflections. The look at this beautiful world. And it does make the world better like this is why ray tracing is the future this is why it's absolutely going to change the world in terms of gaming this is it it is beautiful look what it turns a simple game like minecraft minecraft into it turns it into this beautiful glorious world with wonderful reflections beautiful lighting effects turns blocks that just used to look like really pixelated blocks into actual transparent glass it is wonderful it is an abs the water in the game looks crazy good it is amazing but the problem is I'll just go back one slide. This is 720p. I used Tom's hardware, the first one came up, right? But you can see here, if you want 60 frames per second with a 350 quid graphics card at 720p, you can have a 350 quid graphics card, 720p. NVIDIA pushing this game, but this is NVIDIA's beta, like this is, this is NVIDIA doing this, right? Like, does that not make their graphics cards look stupid? You know, look, RTX 2060 Founders Edition, 37 frames per second at 1080p. You can't play with your 350 quid graphics card at 60 frames per second. Like, this is not the days of crisis. What's going on here? You got 70 frames per second on a 2080 Ti. So you can see here, this is when, this is when this kind of image quality will be available to you. This is, this is the crux of this argument. This is the very simple fact and reality about ray tracing and ray trace reflections. This is the reality that we are faced with, is that ray tracing will not become ubiquitous, will not become a thing genuinely everywhere, right? In every game, it will not become optimized for, it will not look gorgeous. And realistically, the holy, gra uh, the holy grail of ray tracing, I believe, in terms of people and how people look on screen, is subsurface scattering. When that light hits your, hits your, hits your skin, you can see my skin there, you can see veins through it, you can see all that stuff. It's light going through my hand, showing you that. That's what that's that's subsurface scattering. That's when 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 ray tracing will become like the new thing, the thing that blows us all away. I was hoping for ray tracing initially, not this fake garbage that makes everything look like chrome. Um, I was hoping for a ray tracing that would make us all break the uncanny valley and see the world in a new way in terms of gaming. And it does that. When you see it in Minecraft, it takes this terrible looking game, but really good fun to play game. And it just makes it beautiful. And when I did it with Quake as well, it looked beautiful. It looked absolutely amazing to take a, 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 a 20 odd year old game and make it look like a modern game. And that's how good path tracing is. When you truly ray trace a scene, that's what it can do to those old, old models. And can you imagine how good it will be when you can do that to the other one? And I genuinely don't believe that the, the standard rasterizing hardware in graphics cards is too weak for ray tracing. 
I think it's genuinely the fact that we don't have enough RT cores or tensor cores or whatever AMD are going to be using. That's the problem. We need more silicon to dedicated directly to ray tracing. I think that's going to happen in the next generation of console, in next generation of graphics cards. Next generation of console is going to have some ray tracing hardware. I don't think it's going to be on the level of, of an RTX 3080, for instance, right? But it remains to be seen. We don't know what AMD are going to do in terms of ray tracing solutions. We just don't know. But when you look at ray tracing as how it evolved, and I thought I'd take this look at ray tracing because realistically we're on the cusp of getting the second generation of ray tracing games and the first one from AMD, where we didn't get that before. We got, at, in 2018, we got the first, the premiere of ray tracing. And we got charged for the privilege of what I consider to be a beta test of taking a 1200 gra quid graphics card and making it play games like a $250 graphics card. Because that's what turning on ray tracing did. It took your $1200 graphics card and made it play games like a, a $250 graphics card. So there go, ergo vis-a-vis, -vis, my argument has always been that you should have a ray traced game, or sorry, a ray traced game should play about 60 frames per second and you can see Minecraft here playing 70 frames, about 60 frames per second on a $250 graphics card. When it does that, when that is kept possible at 1080p to play ray trace games at 60 frames per second, in other words, when you've got 2080 Ti level performance in a 250 quid graphics card, that's when game developers will get on board putting ray tracing and everything. When the consoles can do it at 1080p 60, I think that's when you'll see it too. I genuinely don't know what's going to come with the consoles. I know the consoles are going to be capable of 4K. I know they are. And I know they're going to play 4K 60 easy. No bother to them, right? I know they are. Because the 2080 Ti can do it now. And they're probably going to be about as fast as that. And anybody who disagrees with that, go fucking fly a kite because you're wrong. They will be as fast as that, right? They will be as fast as the 2080 Ti, right? Or somewhere in between that and a 2080 Super. I imagine 2080 Ti, right? So... They are going to be as fast as 2080i, but when it comes to ray tracing, how much, how much slower will they become? Will it be worth game developers putting it in because realistically it'll slow down their frame rate too much? We don't know yet and we have to see that. Just because they can do something, these consoles are going to be capable of 8K, which is a buzzword. There's not going to be any game out there released for 8K and if there is, it's going to be like a, a, an 8K version of Pong or something because that's probably all I can run in 8K. Just because it has a feature doesn't mean they're going to use it, you know? This is the reality of we're all getting excited about this but when it becomes ubiquitous will be when the hardware is ready to drive it and at the moment, $1,200 is, not enough, is, is too much money for the bare bones level of ray tracing. This is why I've always said that 2070, like, you know, people using the 2070 as a, sorry, 2060 as an argument, even 2070 as an argument for ray tracing. This is a $600 card at launch. This is $600 card at launch. 45 frames per second at 1080p. Let's go up, you know, 1440p, you got 28 frames per second. The mighty 1080, the mighty 2080 Ti, the 4K Ultra card can only play 44, 45 frames per second. You know, 4K, it can't even do a playable frame rate. I would argue playable frame rate is anything above cinematic. So I, I have I have an open, I have an easier time giving you the, the ability to say that something is playable because I say about 24 to 26 frames per second. It's fine for playable, you know, a cinematic game. I, th I think it's grand, genuinely, I, th I think it's fine. If you're not like trying to shoot somebody or anything, you're just walking around, Tomb Raider for instance, whatever, you know, you're walking around having a bit of crack, 20, 26 frames per second is fine, but this is not 26 frames per second. And this is Minecraft. Not the hardest game to run in the universe. And that's the problem with ray tracing, fundamentally, is that the hardware is not strong enough. And we've said this multiple times. The hardware is not strong enough. And when will it be strong enough? Another two generations or so. Because it's got to it's gotta take the next generation, right? And you won't believe me, but this is the truth. The next generation, the 3060, will be as fast as a as as a, a twenty eight a, a, a twenty eight. That's the if aim if Nvidia keep up with their, it'll be fast at twenty eight. So the the sixty class card will be as fast as the eighty class card, right? That's the way it tends to go. So 
and the 80 class card will be a little bit little bit slower so the 80 class card will be a little bit faster than than the ti class card that's usually the way it works and the 70 class card is usually as fast as the the ti class card and that's that's the way it works so by the next generation you'll be looking at the 2060 the, sorry the 4060 being as fast if not faster than the 2080 ti and probably having more ray tracing hardware in it and that's when we can wholeheartedly say that ray tracing has arrived the hardware is fast enough to do ray tracing unless some game developer comes out with some magic way of coding and in compressing data in ways that we just can't think about right now to, to make ray tracing just easier on the hardware that exists i genuinely don't see how ray tracing as a thing until in order two or three years and i think nvidia have said that themselves i think they said that ray tracing won't be a thing until 2023 which is fundamentally funny when you've got a ceo marching around saying you know uh you, you, if you don't buy a ray traced card you're silly so on so forth meanwhile his company's main bigger sellers of graphics cards are actually the ones without ray tracing <laughs> That dude, I swear to, I just want to see him shut up so much. I want to see him shut up so much. Somebody fucking shut him up. Somebody shut him up. I want to see him eat a little bit of humble pie. He deserves to eat a little bit of humble pie. He's ruined gaming for everyone with the RTX series of graphics cards, charging so much. But I've given out about that before. Fundamentally, I'm a little bit biased because I'm a little bit pissed off about the RTX series of graphics cards. I, I, I genuinely think they could have been the greatest graphics cards in the world if they were launched with previous price. Could you imagine a 2080 Ti at 700 quid? Could you imagine 700 quid for 2080 Ti and it has ray tracing as well? But then, then you're like, well, it's got ray tracing as well. It's amazing. It's wonderful. We're getting this bonus. But 1200 quid? Fuck you. Could you, imagine, could you imagine a 2080 Ti at 500 quid? Could you imagine, I'm oh, sorry, a 2080 at 500 quid, 2080 Super, 500 quid. You'd be like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is amazing. 2070 Super at 400 quid. Like, fucking crazy shit. This is crazy shit. You get ray tracing. This is amazing. It's wonderful. Cannot wait to play with my ray tracing card. 400 quid. But no, you have to pay 500 quid, what you used to pay for an 80 class card. And so on and so forth. You have to pay for the 2080 what you used to pay for a TI class card. Brr! It's And then you have to pay for the 2080 TI what you used to pay for Titan. But it's a cut down card. And then Titan, don't even, tw double, just double again, double again. Yeah, Ben hoodwinked. Anyway, sold the promise of something that hasn't arrived yet. And I suppose that's fundamentally what this video is about is while Minecraft shows you what ray tracing is capable of, while Control, probably the killer app for ray tracing, and I genuinely think it's the first time, other than the path trace, right, like, excluding path trace stuff, just ray like the ray tracing that they have in, in Control is 100% the only time, I'm not saying that I would turn it on, I'm, because I, I would would it be worth that frame rate loss? I don't know. For me, maybe in that type of game control, yeah, maybe. But like, what I'm saying is, is that for the first time out of what the other five games that were launched with ray tracing support, the first time ever when they knocked ray tracing on on control, I went, I can see something there. That was how long it took for ray tracing to even me be able to see it. Um. You know, now in, in, in the path trace stuff, you can see it straight away. It's a different fucking game. It looks like a game ma taken and remastered and put it. Like, that's what it looked. It's just so much better. It's brilliant, right? It genuinely is. But the cost to run it is still so high. Like, should this level of frame rate be from a 1200 quid card? I'm asking you, should it be? I don't think so. Like, this is, this is a... Like realistically, this is a two hundred and fifty dollar card frame rate. That's what that is right there. It's two hundred fifty dollar card frame rate. Yeah, that's that. Maybe you could argue that's probably a two hundred fifty dollar card frame rate. But both of them are fucking way hot, way more expensive than two hundred fifty dollars. And I think that's to show you that ray tracing isn't there yet. While we all want, we all we can see it. I think anything that's that you have to pay twelve hundred quid for and doesn't really run as well as it should is still a tech demo. That's what I think this is. It's still a tech demo. It's a gimmick to sell you more graphics cards. It's a gimmick to give you a reason not to buy the other guy. And it's also a gimmick in terms of trying to get you locked in to the NVIDIA thing. Like hair, it's just another hair works realistically. Like that's what it is.
Anyway, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. But if you disliked it, tell me why you disliked it. I can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. And in the comments, let me know what you think about ray tracing. Do you think ray tracing has arrived or do you think ray tracing has not arrived? I'm, I'm genuinely interested to hear your opinion, whatever. Yeah, let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to do the like and comment and sharing. Subscribing, sharing really helps me out. Liking really helps me out. And also, if you want to talk to me directly, you can do that by uh, Patreon and PayPal. You get links to my, my, my uh, Discord server where you can talk to me about anything you want to talk to me about. And also, uh, yeah, merch. I'll talk to you next one. I'm going to press the button, stop recording. Bye, 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 bye.